Welcome back to Creepy Crawler's Garage and another daily update. Yesterday, we created a checklist of everything that needed to be completed on the TRXZ project. We've been checking off those items and today we checked off a few more. So let's head into the garage and take a look. Roll the intro and don't go anywhere. First things first, on the left side of the screen, let's go ahead and pull up our checklist of everything that needs to be completed on the TRXZ project. Some, uh, some of them we already got checked off yesterday, but we got a few more that we can check off today, starting with what's probably most obvious, and that's the logos on the door here. So I took uh, some of the stencils that Wes over at Wes made build cut for me um, and used that to paint up a kind of a bright green skull logo here on the door. Um, I went with a brighter green. I think that's going to fit the world we're building a little bit. A cyberpunk world is usually very bright colors like this, like bright purples, bright pinks, bright greens. Uh, so I went with a bright green. Now that is going to get uh, cut back a little bit when we start doing some of the weathering. So it won't be as vibrant. Uh, but I wanted to get you got your guys input on what do you think about that green? Is it too bright? Uh, maybe we need to weather it back first before we make a final decision. But just, you know, let me know. And I also think what I'm going to do is fill in this negative space inside the skull with some flat black uh, so we don't have the two different tones showing through, the, the camo tone and the body color showing through, and it's just one solid tone. So I think I'll fill that in with some flat black, but let me know what you think. What do you think about the color? What do you think about filling, in, filling it in with flat black? What do you think about a skull on the door all together? Because I think this is how we're gonna do this. I might even, if we like, eh, no, nah, I think I'm just gonna stick with the door. I was thinking about putting one on the roof, but I think I'll pass on that and we'll just stick with the doors. And that'll give us the logo on the door and, of course, the logo up front on the bumpers. Um, and I think that'll be perfect. But let me know what you think about the colors so far. Uh, so also, I went ahead and printed up a new uh, 50 cal gun that's going to be in the driver or passenger side here. This is where it's going to be sitting in here and able to rotate and uh, on a servo turret. Now, the original one we printed I thought was too small. The next one we printed I thought was too big. I think this one might be pretty perfect. Let me know what you think as far as the size goes, sticking out the window like this, able to rotate. Let me know what you think about the size. Now, I'm still weathering it up too, so uh, got to do the rest of the weathering. And also, I went ahead and just printed a barrel. So previously, um, we were going to use a piece of copper tubing um, for the barrel. Now, we're on a bit of a time crunch, so it was a little easier for me to just go ahead and print the barrel. Um, I still need to finish uh, painting it, get it a little more copper color, or actually less copper color, more yellow, I think. I kind of like the color of this tubing for the barrel, um, so I'm going to try to get more to this color. Um, but let me know what you think on the 50 cal. Is that about the right size? Still got to build the turret for it put the servo in it to make it be able to turn. And I also need to build out the frame around the window here, around the front windshield. I think I'm gonna wait till I have the turret and all this mounted before I build that window frame here. That way I know how I need it for when the turret's sitting here. I don't want any of the window frame to be in the way and then I can't get the turret to mount up. Um, but anyway, so that's all gotta be done yet. And let me know what you think on the turret so far. Now also in the back, let me see if I can get, you, these are very small, so let me see if you can see them. I also did some of the tie downs. So I started printing, in fact, I got one right here. I started printing some of the tie downs. Hopefully you can see that. They're very small. They're uh, not meant to be big. They're just meant to serve a purpose, really. But I 3D printed those. We'll get them glued up, uh, weathered up, painted up. Uh, and then that'll give us the ability to put some items back here, whether it's parts or guns or whatever we're carrying, uh, water jugs, whatever. Um, and we can, maybe we'll make some little bungees or something to strap stuff down back here. I made some even smaller ones or shorter ones, I guess you would say, uh, for this lower platform here also. So, um, in fact, I'll probably double them up like this. We'll do two per side, and then that'll give us plenty of ability uh, to strap down parts back here on this lower platform and on the middle plat on the middle flatbed here, um, and we can carry pl plenty of parts. So let me know what you think. Also, uh, I've, I know I've seen videos somewhere of making scale bungees. Uh, if you guys know... Uh, where that video is at or a way of making the little scale bungee cords, uh, let me know down in the comment. I know I've seen a video on that before in the past, but I can't remember where it was. Uh, but I think that would be a good way to do this is just make little bungee cords. Um, let me know what you think. Now, also, one of the big items or one, uh, yeah, I guess a big item we can check off the list also 
is the front of the body's mounted. So can you see it's mounted now? So it's not uh, gonna shake around. So basically the way we did that or the way I did that, let me go ahead and pull these out so they don't come falling out. Um, and let me pop it off. Did it with magnets, basically like what we've been doing uh, all our other bodies with. So on the top of, hopefully you can see this, on the top of the shock towers, I just put in a little spacer, a little styrene spacer, and then there's a magnet right here. And then if I grab the body, carefully flip it over here, you can see we've got two magnets underneath, uh, underneath the body, front of the body here. So now when we place the body on and get it in place here, it'll actually, the, the, see, the magnet's attached. Now you can still pull it up, but it, it's, it's a little bit difficult. So that's gonna hold us down uh, in the front, keep the front end from bouncing around. But what it also does now for sure is we've got a tie down in the back here. Um, so I have to figure out how I'm gonna tie that down. I, I have not done that yet. I think I'll do it with screws. I'd love to be able to do it with magnets also, but I don't think that's really gonna be a possibility. Um, but anyways, that's a big one to get that done. So now the, uh, the body is pretty well mounted, just got it mounted in the back yet. Um, but anyways, let me know on these uh, few items that we've got checked off today. Let me know what you think. Uh, I think we're making pretty good progress. Um, it's Tuesday today, so I've got three more days to get everything done over on the checklist. Um, I think we should be able to get it done, but let me know what you think so far down in the comment section. Thanks for joining me in the garage again today for another daily update. And I'm gonna keep making some of these little trailers that like you just saw. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it's something you like. Let me know, let me let, know if that's something you like watching. But these are gonna be little sneak peeks as we keep working our way through uh, at what the series is gonna be like. What CCG 3000 AD is gonna kind of look like, the overall feel of it. Um, so let me know what you think. Uh, about the soundtrack and about the the imagery because it's basically what it's going to kind of look like um, as we build new things the city and new trucks and things start bringing them into some of these little little hype trailers i guess you could call them um, but let me know what you think and thanks again for all the support on this series i really do appreciate it and all the input down in the comment section i definitely uh am absolutely appreciate the input down below. I've been using a lot of it uh, and I encourage it. I want this to be a community built world in series. So keep that, keep those comments coming down below. Uh, if this is something you've enjoyed and you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you can keep up with this stuff. Uh, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.